Something I talk a lot about on this channel is design styles, and I have a whole host of videos that will give you lots of design style inspiration. Today I'm going over how do we mix design styles together? How do we create and tailor a space to our own personal aesthetics without necessarily following a trend? What I love about mixing design styles is you really are able to curate your space to speak to your own personal style and aesthetic. As much as I enjoy trends and seeing them and thinking how wonderful it would be to be able to jump on board and do a trend every time one comes around, the reality is they can become generic and short-lived. So we do want to try and create our own personal story within our space. So when it comes to finding what styles you gravitate towards, I do have a host of videos. I have some quizzes on there that can help you figure out what styles you gravitate towards. I would say pick a couple that you really do like and use those as a great jumping off point. Typically, you'll find that you gravitate towards similar styled items. For me personally, I do love bold glam, you know, dark colors and bold aesthetic, very maximalist, very glam. I love mirrors and I love the aesthetic of, you know, adding in some of that gold touch to a space, but I also love boho. Those are very different styles. I find I definitely gravitate more towards the boho aesthetic than I do some of the glam aesthetic, but I try to add touches of that into my boho decor, making it a lot more eclectic. And that's what I'm going to help you guys through this video is how do we bring those in together? So you want to take inspiration from your surroundings, your travels, things that bring you joy in your space currently, or things that you see that bring you joy. You want to explore different aesthetics and identify elements that will resonate with you emotionally. It's this type of self-discovery and reflection that, that will really help guide you to creating your fabulous space. So when it comes to mixing design styles, it's really essential to find elements or themes that tie them together. So you want to look for commonalities in color palettes, materials, or specific design elements. By incorporating these unifying factors, you'll achieve a sense of harmony and cohesiveness in your space. So when it comes to mixing design styles in your space, you need to look at the different styles that you're attracted to and then find some common elements within those styles. So here's a good example from mine. With that glam and that more bold aesthetic, I find that that gilded mirror is a really great add-on into a boho interior. It has that same more muted tones, but it's got that touch of glam to it. So in my boho space, I can have elements of that beautiful gold and it works with the neutrals and the natural materials. And it just helps give it a bit of a juxtaposition. Another way is by adding in some of those bold colors in, let's say, natural tones. So for example, in my powder room, I'm going to be painting my cabinetry for the sink in a beautiful, like deep emerald green, and then keeping everything else around it a lot more muted, a lot more neutral, and adding in some more of those natural boho elements throughout the space. And that's how I tie in some of those bold elements that I love for more of that glam style with my more predominant boho aesthetic. Just a brief pause here. If you're enjoying the content of today's video, please don't forget to hit that like button below as well as subscribe so I can see you next week in another video. So when you think about pulling multiple styles together, we need to focus on balance and harmony. Now I did a whole video on our design principles. It goes into all the design principles. It's a really good video, it's old, so I apologize about the quality, but that being said, it's a really good video on just the fundamentals of design principles, and it gets into the balance and proportion in a lot more depth. Without deep diving into balance and proportion, you really want to pay attention to the scale and proportion of the furniture and decor items. So you want to mix different sizes and shapes to create a visual interest. Say a large contemporary sofa, which can be paired with some vintage chairs, or perhaps a rustic coffee table can be, you know, with a contemporary sofa and can also do that really nice balance. So it's finding elements that really work off of one another. So from the example that I've been sharing with my own space, I personally have this really old beat up wood coffee table. I love it. 
my husband hates it, but I love it. I've had it for probably 20 plus years. It is just a really great substantial wood piece. And I love it because it really does speak to that boho nature of my aesthetic. My couch on the other hand is very streamlined. It's very crisp, it's very simple, and it's in a beautiful navy blue color. So that is that juxtaposition between something that maybe more boho would be more lived in or more soft or more kind of plushy, whereas I have a little bit more of a streamlined couch with my boho coffee table. So that's what we mean. You're kind of balancing those items within a space to create that cohesive look. So something that you want to do with your space to mix those styles together and to create that personal design aesthetic for yourself is to experiment with layering different textures and patterns from various styles. So think about perhaps combining the sleekness of contemporary textures with the warmth of boho patterns. So something that I'm absolutely in love with, with the, you know, mixing of styles back to my example, I don't have this, it's on my wish list. I have a link to it as well below. It's these pillows, these throw pillows, and some of them are in this beautiful leather aesthetic, this caramel leather look. And then other ones are more of a traditional boho pattern with a lot more texture and depth to it from a fabric. And I like that mixture of that sleekness of the leather next to that plushiness of the boho, very neutral palette pillow. That's a way that you can bring those two looks together to really create that cohesiveness from two different styles, essentially. So something that's really important when you're trying to mix trends and also create your own authentic story is thinking about items that are focal points. You know, a great piece of artwork from traveling abroad is a wonderful addition to a space or perhaps a vintage chandelier in an otherwise modern and simple aesthetic. You can think about a lot of ways to bring in something that really has a presence to it and will almost become a talking point. I love focal points in spaces because they really do up level the aesthetic of a space but also it's something that people will usually go, oh wow, what a great light. Where did you get that? Or where's that artwork from? And you can kind of bring in that own personal story about where you found it, why you love it. And the juxtaposition of one style to a next is actually what makes it stand out and what makes it look really, really beautiful and interesting in a space. There's this other part that I wanna add in and that is that I find we tend to gravitate towards similarly aesthetic items. You tend to like perhaps a few different styles, but you tend to go to those styles all the time. I always try to tell people to trust your gut. You know, I know that's hard to say because sometimes it, that's the hardest thing to do is to trust our own thoughts around a design piece. But I do feel like if you're constantly gravitating towards similar things, that, have, that they will really work together most likely in your space. So do trust your gut when you have something that you just really love from an, you know, an aesthetic standpoint and think about how you can bring that in your space. And if you kind of love everything and you're all over the place, then editing is your friend. <laughs> Maybe, you know, pick five and go with one. <laughs> but overall, I do find that we do tend to, you know, gravitate towards very similar things over and over again. And it, once you start noticing yourself doing that, you can really trust that things will work together if you you know, embrace those things that you love. <laughs> so something else when we're creating our own mixing of trends is to think about mixing eras. A lot of times people don't realize that you can mix pieces from different times. Combining design elements from different eras can really add charm and interest to your space. So think about pairing vintage items, antique items or retro items with perhaps more modern and contemporary ones. It will create a unique look that's more specific to your own tastes and it will take you away from the trends and really help create a space that tells your story through a timeless approach by mixing different time periods and different aesthetics. One of the key things to take away is that design is not static. It really does evolve over time. So you want to be flexible and allow your own personal style to grow and change with you. 
So what's great about this is that you can make easy updates by introducing new elements, swapping out accessories, or even repurposing some of your existing pieces. What I love about an interior space is that it should be a reflection of your changing tastes and more importantly, your personality. So one of the great things about creating a timeless space is that you can absolutely tailor it to your own personality and your changing tastes because we evolve as people as well. When thinking about timeless design, you can jump on over to this video and it will go into some more details about how to get a timeless interior.